Hello everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're taking a look at another amazing creation from the Steam Workshop. With me today I have the Rhino Light Armored Vehicle, the LAV. It is modless, survival ready I believe, and is built like a brick shit ice. So, the Rhino, what it basically is it? So it's a light armored vehicle designed for one person to basically go speeding across the land, destroying something. Now the description on the Steam Workshop says it's best to work in groups. To maximise the damage you output, so they're kind of a little bit weak in a way, that's why it's light obviously, it's not heavy armoured is it? It's a light armoured vehicle. So best to work in groups is the advice the creator gives. So it says, so grab yourself some ammo, a trusty friend, bag of popcorn and take the fight to the enemy. That steam description there should win an award I think. It's the best description I've read in a while. Features, features a Gatlin turret, storage containers, artificial mass, air vents, connectors on the top and the bottom, that's one thing I need to get to in a minute I tell you. A sleek design, custom cosmetics and it is mod free. I don't know if it's survival ready. I said it earlier, but there's no nothing here that says survival ready. Um, no, anything? Oh, yeah, it is survival ready, and it's planet ready. Obviously, we're all planets. Anyway, taking a look around my ship, it is obviously kind of shaped like a rhino. The front of it reminds me of a rhino for some reason, apart from a horn. That's one thing we're missing. The camera, you could call it a horn, but you know. The, the shape of it, just for how the curved around at the top there, kind of gives that presence away. Anyway, moving in, we've got a connector on top. This I thought of, maybe a drop ship can connect from the top and obviously drop it down the planet, away you go. Pretty simple, would like to see a design like that, maybe it can work, who knows. You obviously got a turret on top as well, that is your main thing there for your armoured vehicle. You obviously can do what you're attacking with that. Moving back, this is where some of the cool design cosmetics stick in here. We've got grind, uh, grinded down rocket launchers to create this sort of piping or like armoured piping going through here. And it really works well. We've also got a grinded down uh, Gatling gun here to create sort of an antenna sticking up or a radar or something like that. Looks amazing. I love the cosmetics here. On the back we've got rotors ground down here. This is almost like an exhaust port or something along those lines. Up top we've got panels ground down to reveal the projector block and the antenna block stuck here. Stuck? St what the hell's that I just said? <laughs> stuck there. And we've got a sensor block and a sound block. Pretty cool. Round the back we've got the cockpit obviously so you can get in there and drive away. I love that it looks like a mini door. Just only notice that now. Air vents in here as well, so we can obviously breathe while we're in the cockpit, so it's a good thing. At the bottom here, we have grinded down these uh, wheels, I suppose. We have wheels or axles or something. I call them axles. Cameras, we've got a blast door block there, it's almost like a rear thing. Moving underneath, artificial mass blocks, so I suppose that can work lower in gravity or something along those lines. The curved design down here underneath is something I really like. Also, the cockpit is underneath there. Also, we've got more of these ground down axles going along here. Another connector underneath, so this kind it can like bottom detect, like connect to something. So as you could drive it up on a ramp or something like that and then connect to an underneath conveyor. Could be pretty cool. What do we got in here? So here's ground down parts. I took one of the panels off this side just so I could see what a block was. It's a conveyor sorter that's been ground down to create this sort of cosmetic design. I really like it when creators do this. Because if you left a base block there it wouldn't really quite make sense. Moving inside the ship, as you can see it's quite tightly compact. It is a light vehicle so we have to compact everything in and hope it works. Computer blocks inside here along with gyroscopes. We do love them. I think, is this a cargo container? No, it's not. This is a conveyor thing. Never mind me, Jack. That's a conveyor thing. Another computer over here. It is quite tight in here, isn't it? Timer blocks. More timer blocks. More other stuff. I'm lost in here already. Oh, there's the, con the cargo container. So we've got a giant cargo container. I knew we had one somewhere. So there's one in there. That's pretty cool. Around the front, we have a camera of two lights. Pretty good. Obviously, you can see where you're going. So you can work in nighttime as well. Is there anything I'm missing on this? Obviously, you've got four wh wheels each side. 8 wheel vehicle, oh here we go, round the back, all detectors and your reactors, there's two on each, oh sorry, one on each side, come on Jack, use the brain, is there anything else I'm forgetting inside, I don't think it is, more reactors inside here, as with gyroscopes, yada yada yada, computer screens, ah oh, yes, so if we jump into the cockpit a minute, where are we Jack, oh, I was literally right there, if we jump in, and take a look around, we've got this custom interface in here, projector block up top obviously, computer monitors, so we've got like an elevation sort of plan ahead, as well as a ship diagnostic there. Stats, power time, cargo used. If I start to turn around here, look, it tells us where to go on the display. Speed's obviously nothing, but if I start driving, the speed goes up. Don't think that's entirely that accurate, but hey, it's worth it. Altitude's also on there as well, do like that. Damage blocks, stuff like that. So all your basic diagnostics, anything you need. Also radar down below there, I only just noticed that. The LCDs are a bit dark. Radar down there, so you've got everything you basically need. That right, kind of it is for a run over of this small little rhino rover. Let's give it a test drive because you've all been waiting for me to do that and you know I wanted to do that. So it picks up speed quite well. I mean already we're already over the max speed. Kind of. And I don't know how well it's kind of slippy so 
I would suggest using the brake quite a lot when you're going across like low terrain. Seeing how it handles like rough terrain or something, so we're going to go over. This is just going down calm terrain at the minute, but I imagine if you get to sort of rough terrain, it could go pretty bad. The wheels are kind of bouncy. But it does quite well. I'll see a bit of world glitches right there. I've just noticed a mark of monster as Jack almost flips the vehicle. And through a tree. So it is really fast. And that's what I love about rovers and spaces. They're always super fast. Obviously, we're loading world right now. It's glitching out like no tomorrow. So what are we got to our We've got camera one. Jack can slow down. Camera two, that's our rear camera. We can turn the Gatling gun on and off. We can turn vents on and off. Artificial mass as Jack goes into a tree. Okay. How I save that, I do not know. That was amazing. Can we all just appreciate the fact I saved that then? Oh, let's go to stop. We've added gyroscopes as well. I don't know. What are these called? Just gyroscopes? What does it say on the Steam thing? Oh, this is gyroscope override. Oh, right. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go, that works better. What's number seven? Oh, number seven, so you can add your wheels only if they're destroyed. So if we destroy a wheel, we can add it back. And number nine is the trigger timer block. So if this was not working inside here, it now does work. Loads more stuff on here, probably boring stuff. The only thing I'd say you need to know there is the order detector and projector. So guys, that is it for the Rhino Light Armored Vehicle. Give it a like down below on the Steam Workshop. I'm sure they're going to be very happy to see you guys going and testing this creation and seeing what you can come up with. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. I always appreciate it. And tell me what you thought of a Rhino. I mean, I pretty like it. It's an amazing little rover. Quite nippy as well. Love the speed of it. And that Steam description as well. It's the best one I've read in a while. Anyway, guys, I've been Cam Jack. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Good day.